Hey everyone, it's Rhonda here from Nelson Interior Soapery. Today I thought I would come to you with a short video just to show you how to do the glazing on bath bomb donuts. It makes them look really cute and it really does look like Krispy Kremes um, when you actually do them and make it uh, look all gorgeous and silky. So here I am starting um, with my mixture in the bowl. So it's basically uh, one part uh, bicarbonate soda and one part cocoa butter. So you can use 50 grams of each, 100 grams of each, it really depends on the bath bombs that you're doing. But for this set of bath bombs here, which I think there's about, you know, a dozen, I've used 60 uh, grams of bicarbonate and 60 grams um, of cocoa butter. So make sure it's refined cocoa butter and certified. We only use certified products just to make sure we're all doing the right thing uh, by the environment and people that create these products for us. So anyway, you can see that it's all mixed. So I'm just going off here to grow and grab some mica. So I've used here about quarter of a teaspoon um, of mica. I'm actually using a mica that I'm getting from Sud Off in Australia. So I will leave the links on the actual color and everything. It's a beautiful, gorgeous teal color. And um, once, once it dries actually on the bath bomb, it will dry a little bit more of a matte color, not a glazed color as you can kind of see here. And that's to do with the baking soda reacting with the cocoa butter um, in it. And do remember if these get really hot, the cocoa butter will actually melt. So, um, so make sure you keep them out of the sun as well. So we're just mixing it up here and make sure it's all combined. And in between making it, make sure you come back and forward and keep mixing. I'm just adding a little sprinkle also of a color, uh, sorry, a scent in as well. So the scent I'm going to be using is watermelon from Aroma Australia. So that's the company I've decided to use um, for that. So mixing it all in again and make sure, like I said, you've got to mix it really, really well. If you don't, basically you're just going to get the scent will just come to the top and it won't be mixed very well. Then all we're gonna do is literally just dip it in, give it a shake to get all the excess off. And you can see how perfectly round it actually looks. And then you can use some sprinkles just to sprinkle on top if you like. You don't have to use the sprinkles, but it really does add to the theme. And, um, and you can add like two different colors, one on each side if you like, whatever you like. But I just decided to do these ones because um, it does look really nice with this color. And the great thing about this also in the bath is um, it will make the bath, you know, really nice and silky and luxurious because cocoa butter is so good for your skin, along with all the other ingredients that we've already put in this bath bomb, which is uh, oils such as jojoba oils been put in our bath bombs, Epsom salts, um, we've got our fragrances put in as well, also some apricot kernel oil, and they're the basis of the main oils that we use. I will also put the recipe um, down below as well so that you've got a recipe for the bath bombs if you wanna give it a go. We don't mind if you try it at all, so um, do give it a go. And our recipe will make about anything from 10 to 15 bath bombs, depending on the size. So I'll let you watch as I continue making them, and um, yeah, and I'll come back in just a minute.
I've gone off just to find um, another mica that will match this one. And I've decided to use this beautiful uh, peacock color, which I think is from Bath Bomb World. But once again, I will leave the links as well. I had a little bit left in the container. So I've just added a little bit more mica, then a little bit of a darker color, just so that it will um, be a really nice match to the light one. And I'm literally just going to be drizzling it over. And so just grab a bit on a spatula and drizzle it over the top of the other one we've already done. And then this way it will just look like a Krispy Kremes or you know your typical um, rich kind of luxury donut store where they drizzle all the icing over the top in sort of little lines. Or you could also do a splat effect which you could just splat different colors on top and make it look really cute. Like I said, I've actually added in um, some sprinkles, but you don't have to add sprinkles. You can add something else as well. You might be able to do something that um, is a little bit more different, like sort of adding um, like little flowers in candy and things like that. And the great thing about adding um, the little candy pieces or sprinkles as we call them in Australia, um, if you add those on, they just dissolve in water and they are fine to be in the bathtub. Um, and they'll sit perfectly, but make sure, my one tip is make sure you add the sprinkles straight away or else this mixture will dry really fast and then they'll just fall off. So I'm sure you can agree, they look really cute. So I'll give you some last um, shots at the end just so you can see exactly how sweet it really does look and they really look amazing. And um, yeah, so give it a go. And like I said, all the recipe and everything will be linked down below for you. And hopefully you love this short video. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye for now and have an amazing, amazing day. Bye.